feel like I'm the only comic on the show who isn't gay or looks like they could be. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> A couple months ago, uh, I got to fly first class uh, for the first time. Here's what I learned. Uh, the people that buy first class tickets, buy those tickets so they don't have to sit next to me. <laughs> so you know what I did? I ruined their flights. I sat down next to an 80 year old crotchety woman was just like, yeah, six hours, are you ready? <laughs> Jackass DVD season one through five, no headphones, we're doing this! I was sitting in seat 1A, where the king sits. And there was this little boy, five years old, getting on the plane with his dad, and his dad's dragging him back to coach. He's like, no daddy, I wanna sit up here. Why do these people get to sit in the front of the plane and we have to sit in the back of the plane? So I got really low, looked in his eyes, and said, because your dad is a loser. <laughs> Stick with me, kid, I'll show you the ropes, mimosas all day. <laughs> so I have a son now. <laughs> I have everything I know. I don't want children, I'm scared of them. Um, last year, my girlfriend and I started talking about having children, so instead we uh, got the starter kit, we adopted a puppy, and I have immediately had a vasectomy. I don't want to take care of a baby anything, ever again. Uh, I have two pugs, uh, both of them were adopted. The first one came from Mexico, we got them about two years ago. The other one came from Korea, she's brand new, just got her a month ago. People be asking me, like, why'd you get a dog from Korea? Turns out pugs, are not a desired breed in that country. They literally throw them to the streets, meaning pugs are roaming the streets over there, making <laughs> Korea the cutest country <laughs> in the entire world. I'll be honest with you guys, I've had this dog for a month. I'm not convinced they didn't send over a 90-year-old Korean woman. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. <laughs> She just sits there with her adorable, wrinkled up face, not understanding a word I say as I feed her treats. She takes off her shoes every time she comes in the house. Very polite. We named her Kimchi. If you don't understand why that's funny, expand your culinary palate. There's some really good ethnic food out there. I sing these songs to my dogs all the time and sometimes they get stuck in my head. Like a couple days ago, I was singing this song. It's bedtime for little boys. It's bedtime for sweet little boys. <laughs> Very cute song. <laughs> Problem was, I was not singing that in my apartment to my adorable little pug. It was stuck in my head. I was singing it two days later in the produce section of the grocery store. <laughs> Caught a woman staring at me very oddly as I was trying to pick out bananas. Suddenly realized exactly how creepy those lyrics are out of context. Here I am fumbling through bananas going, Where are all the sweet little boys? Come on down, you sweet little boys. I live in a dog-friendly building, and there's a new dog that moved in last month, a new sheriff in town, and this little guy will not stop barking. 24 hours a day, he's going nuts, and my neighbors are furious. They're leaving notes on this girl's door, they're complaining to management, they want this dog out. But I'm not angry at the dog for barking all day. I'm impressed with his vocal cords. Imagine 24 hours a day doing this. That was like eight seconds. I'm exhausted right now. 24 hours a day? Are you kidding me? This dog should not be punished. She should be studied. This dog has answers. Now I'll be the first to admit it's not acceptable to do what I just did. To scream like that in a small and close space, unacceptable. The only scenario where I do find that's okay is that's how I walk through bad neighborhoods at night when I think I'm gonna get mugged. Just, No one fucks with me. Even cops see that. Should we do something about that guy? That guy, no. He should not be arrested. He should be studied. That guy has answers. 
<laughs> Rough couple years to be a police officer. <laughs> Pretty bad PR for them. I'm not surprised by any of this. Like, if you look at the police force, it's comprised of two things. It's the dumbest humans and the smartest dogs working together <laughs> to solve crimes. <laughs> Lowest of ours, highest of theirs, feed them some treats, go solve the murder, please. Do you guys realize there's thousands of people that are locked up for their entire lives that were arrested by a dog? How do you look hard in front of your cellmate with that story? Like, when I get out of prison, I'm gonna kill that German shepherd and his whole family. Like, geez, I murdered people, but you got problems. I don't even wanna be in here with you. Do you guys think regular dogs and drug sniffing dogs get along? Like, do they freak out a little bit when they see a drug-sniffing dog? Like, Patches, be cool! Just be cool! Don't let him know how many biscuits you've had! <laughs> Don't sniff his butt! You're gonna give us away! <sighs> There's a lot of problems in this country. I didn't, used to have, I didn't used to have health insurance for a long time. I only got it like a few months ago, so I used to have to go to urgent care. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, the words urgent care don't mean either one of those things. You will receive no care with very little urgency. <laughs> Another fun problem in this country, um, what do you guys think is worse? Getting a UTI or getting accepted to UTI? <laughs> The Universal Technical Institute, they had heard of a urinary tract infection before, right? Before they decided to name an upper level institution after one. How arrogant, like that's the worst name I've ever, actually it's not the worst name I've ever heard for a school. That's the second worst name I've ever heard for a school. The worst name I've ever heard, and you've probably seen these commercials, the University of Maryland University College. <laughs> Which is so shitty, they have to tell you it's a school in three out of the four words in the name of the school. University of Maryland, university again, what's a university? A college, let's put that in there too. Just, in case, just give us all your money, just give us all. You're never gonna have a career. I used to, um, I used to date this girl when I was like 19 and she used to make me eat a lot of shitty food. Um, we were actually talking about it backstage, like Fazoli's, if you know what that is. Like, it's like McDonald's fast food in Italian, it's terrible. She used to make me go to Johnny Rockets though, a lot. And Johnny Rockets is terrible, it's just awful. And I used to have to eat there all the time. Let me ask you a quick poll of the room. How many of you guys think Johnny Rockets serves french fries? How many of you think that? Right? Sure they do, of course. Johnny Rockets, classic American diner serving french fries. Why wouldn't they? No. Go to Johnny Rockets right now. I don't actually think you should, by the way. But uh, if you do, you're not going to find french fries on the menu. What you will find are American fries. <laughs> right? Because Johnny Rockets is so patriotic, they wouldn't even think to let you ingest a food from some pussy country like France. <laughs> so they serve you American fries. Waiter was like, what kind of cheese do you want on your burger? I was like, I'll take Swiss cheese. I'm like, oh, sir, we don't have Swiss cheese here at Johnny Rockets. We have American cheese with holes in it. <laughs> I was like, okay, can I just get the Italian wedding soup? Sir, we don't have Italian wedding soup here at Johnny Rockets. We have American wedding soup, which by the way, is between a man and a woman. <laughs> I was like, can I just get the uh, Canadian bacon? Get the fuck out of Johnny Rockets! <laughs> Terrorist! You don't deserve to eat here. I saw a girl the other day um, wearing a shirt and it said, trust no bitch. And I thought, whoa, this girl has been burned. Something happened to her to make her buy such an aggressive t-shirt. But as she was walking past me, I noticed she was wearing a backwards hat that said, all the bitches love me. Completely contradictory to what I had just read on the front of her shirt. Couple questions went through my mind. Uh, one, where is the all bitch clothing store where she's procuring these items? Cause you don't just walk into Nordstrom and be like, I need a new wardrobe. They're like, you? Have you seen All Bitch Collection? <laughs> it's perfect for you. We're gonna check you out. Head to toe, bitch, bitch, bitch. It's bitch by the Aussie. 
that's not gonna happen. So then two, what came first? The shirt or the hat? I thought about this for a while and I decided it had to be the hat. Because this girl, she was on top of the world. She got a promotion at work. She's in an amazing relationship. She's got the best friends a girl could ask for. All the bitches love me. I'm gonna wear this hat face forward every day so the world knows how I feel. But guys, what happens when all the bitches love you? One of those bitches is gonna do you bad. <laughs> At which point you're walking down the street, you see this new shirt, trust no bitch. You're like, that's it, that's my new identity. That's what I wanna put out there. But what about my hat? <laughs> I love this hat, I connect this hat, I spent $20 on this hat, flip it around. <laughs> now you're the Harvey Dent of bitch clothing. <laughs> you never know what side you're gonna get. I think about that girl a lot. And I hope she's okay. I hope you're all okay. Thanks, everybody.